All right. Um, I'm Asia. I'm 31. I live in Brooklyn, New York. Do you and have I'm a child? Divorce. Yes, I do. I'm, and I'm also a current divorcee. Okay. My first husband, because that's who my daughter's dad is, he is a middle six-figure earner. He's a physician. So I feel like, personally, I present myself well to men in that financial bracket. Okay. What's the question? All right, so let's talk about this BS video right here. This is actually a great video on behalf of calling to Kevin Samuels, but this caller, which Kevin Samuels, uh, before he died, he stopped putting them on camera. I guess I wish he kept doing it, but he stopped putting them on camera because I guess he didn't want the girls to get DMs and make money from the number of penises that's going to try to date them he saw what was coming girls call into the show they look pretty guys will dm them once they find out the name of the girl they're going to try to dm them and of course it's like using match.com except it's youtube.com instead of match.com for your hookups what pissed me off in the title of this was kevin samuels meet the wife of your dreams bull ish this past thing, Tyrone from the 404, coming live and direct to you, coming with another video charging up biblically, as well as naturally, the ignorance of black women and sometimes of the late great Kevin Samuels and being a so-called high-quality Christian man. But remember, he never used that word Christian, but he would many times in his videos talk about Christianity. But he would also flip it, and if you're not Christian, you talk. he'll talk about not being a Christian. So he's one of those guys that was, like a majority of people in the church today, living a form of godliness but denying the power of that godliness. God calls us to live by that code of ethics when we miss it every day. But always come back to the cross and start over again. It is not right for us, especially as 13 0.6% of a large United States population, a small global population, but a large United States population that has marital problems to hear this divorce say of a physician with a child calling into the show saying that I suit well for a physician because I had a physician as my baby's father slash ex-husband. Okay, a recent divorce say. Now, back in the day, one mom divorced my dad back in 1980. It was a shame on women who divorced. That shame is gone because the women are the ones that are filing for divorce 80% of the time. Shout out to blackdemographics.com and the census. And the guy, of course, is also equally to blame. Because he picked the girl or he decided to go after the girl. Remember what Kevin Samuel says. And I agree with this. Guys, all we have is the power to pick who we're going to marry or put a ring on. But when it comes down to the relationship, it's the woman who picks who she's going to open up her vagina walls to. So, guys... You look at a girl and you think about her and you don't think about the fact that she's going to open up her vagina walls to you that five years down the road, you're going to be a divorcee with her taking half your income. And then coming on another show, a.k.a. Kevin Samuels, to market through Kevin Samuels to women saying, or to other men, excuse me, saying that I'm suitable to get married again. First and foremost, let's be clear. You ain't even got over your ex who's the baby father. Let's be clear. You got a long way to go before you can remarry. But you know what? No man, is, no, Kevin didn't say it. And I know ministers don't say it either. Why? Because those are the same girls that are in my church today. The only difference is the ones that have more penises, they're just going to their next penis. The ones that don't, 
They're the clerks. They're the clerks. They're the ones that are not selectable. So So remember we guys are the ones that pursue the girls. It's the girl that decides whether she's going to allow you to have sex with her. And it's the girl that will leave you for another guy. And all that we have as men is the desire to marry. And if we're financially wealthy enough, remarry. And if we're financially wealthy enough on the third time, do it again. What pissed me off just in the first milliseconds of this video was that opening. Because when we listen closely in the questions that Kevin's about to drill her on, shout out to Kevin. We're going to find out. Because I know the questions. And let's tell you what the question's going to be. How long were y'all married? Who filed for divorce? How old is your child? And we, she already stated because she's been watching the show. This baby is from the guy, the physician that I married. So the next question is, why did y'all break up? Now, that's where it's going to get real interesting. Because there you're going to find out how selfish she is. Now, one of the points you see at the very top of the blog, it says this. From an outsider, a person that's not from our country, talking about the black Hebrew Israelite black people, the tiny 13.6% or the or the 6% of black women in America that are alive. No disrespect to anyone or any country. Just listening to this man, the mindset of the women in the USA, and what he's referring to is the black women in the USA, because this was a black woman, okay, is not designed for families, but selfishness. Why? Well, the answer is, because of Deuteronomy chapter 28. So on this song, on this Palm Sunday, before what they celebrate Ishtar or Easter, which is a holiday by the Catholic Church, that's a BS crappy holiday, but it's supposed to represent Jesus Christ being crucified on the cross. And it's supposed to be one of the most holiest days of the Christian calendar. The fact is millions of girls are going to be going to church next week and this week, and they're going to be going home and they're going to be um, being with husbands they're cheating on or want to cheat on or about to divorce or mistresses uh, to someone who is married, a.k.a. separating in a divorce, going through the two-year proceedings. I mean, it's all kinds of all kinds of crap. And what it does, it gives you it does. It gives you a standard of ethics that I love that makes me say, if you want these type of women, F you, uck you. You don't deserve me, and I don't want to be around you. Let's listen. My question is, how is it after coming out of a marriage like that, do I then present myself once again to men of that financial bracket? Because okay, you're let's, saying let's that... Let's get right to it. How old are you? 31. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> See, that's the difference. When we say doctor. Now, he was good. The guy who did this video is really good. He's doing what we call the uh, zoom-ins on it. This is nothing Kevin did. Kevin only showed the video. So there's other programs where you can do a little zoom-in on the little milliseconds of, of the scene. Because Kevin's normally just looking straight at the camera, talking to the person, and there's no and, and only time he may say something is when they get ignorant and he's got to cuss them out. Or verbally chastise them. But most of the time he's very polite. What I love now about YouTube is we have what's called the transcript feature. And what that is is you can actually see the you can actually see it in writing. Whereas before the transcript would be at the very bottom, as you can see. But if you look over to the right, it not only gives you a, a closed content or or we call it closed captioning, it also gives you a transcript. So now it ain't always accurate. Not 100% English accurate, but pretty close. 
So this girl starts off asking, how can I present myself to a high value financial value man? Well, the first thing any high value financial man is going to ask, and I don't take a rocket science to figure this out, is what the hell happened to you and your so-called high value husband? You got to come up with a hell of great answer for that. I know where Kevin's going. You got to come up with a hell of great answer to that question. Oh, uh, and watch this. If she bullshits and does a typical bullshit that all of us know we're going to hear, well, it was irreconcilable differences. Well, you know, um, I don't know. Um, just we grew apart. You know the BS crap that we hear all the time with relationships. And the fact of the matter is you have the audacity. You sound like a gold digger. Because any woman that's worth a grain in salt if she's going through a divorce to a psychiatrist, it's going to be like studying herself, trying to figure out why it failed. She gonna, matter of fact, in most cases, she's going to want to get back with that man for the sake of the kid. So we're going to find out when the divorce happened, how long she's been divorced. If it's over five years, maybe it's time she can move on. But if it's under five years, there's a problem with this girl. You know, medical doc, physician, internist, surgeons, that's where the real money is. Psychiatrists, mm -hmm. psychologists, they do well, but they ain't rich. That's what I said. He's a middle six-figure earner. All right. So, and you said you were married twice? No. He is my first and only husband so far. And how long And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. There it is. There it is. One? What I just said. Up until three years ago. Remember what I said? If it's after five, maybe... She can move on, but if it's under five, she can't. And see how quickly she's responding? Up into three. Up into three. She didn't say three. She could have said, we got divorced three years ago. She worded up into three. No one frames a sentence that way unless you're a gold digger. Because the reality is, it's common sense. When How long y'all been married? We've been married for five years. I got we, I filed for divorce three years ago. Very simple. It's not what you say only. It's how you say what you say. That a man is judging to find out if you're prepared to go to the next chapter in a relationship. And that's why a lot of these girls will remain single. They're going to get lots of penises. They may get a few orgasms. But that's all they'll get. They're not getting rings. Yes. You got married at 18? Yes. Were you raised by mom and dad? Um, mom at home and dad not at home. So, no. My mother and father were married. My father lived out of the state working. So, yes and no. What kind of crap is that? Yes and no, she says. My father lived in a different state. You can't live in a different state from your wife. So, it's not a yes and no. It's a no. No man, unless he's military. Now, if... It was military on a deployment in the combat zone. That's a whole other story. This ain't a deployment. That's why he looks so weird in his mind. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, how much older was your husband than you? <sighs> we'll say 35 years. Okay, I just need the truth. There it is. There no. it is. There it is. Right there. 35 years older. That comes, that goes to a whole, that's why I said she's the gold digger. So my point is an 18 year old man should not marry someone her dad's age. Remember, she, she said her dad is not even living there. So she got no value system of what a man is supposed to teach her and looking for another man. Right. And that's mistake one. Shot failure to that father. Mistake one and the mother. Mistake two. I just heard her say 35-year gap. Okay, I'm 48. I refuse to marry anybody that's 35 years younger than me. I would never even date a woman that's 20 years younger than me. That means if I'm 48 and she's 28, uh-uh, no. At the max, at the max, 15, and that's pushing it. She's got to be a very powerful fifth, uh, woman if she's going to be with me because I don't trust anybody who's 15 years younger than me. Why? You're just becoming who you are. Think about it for a moment. 48 minus tw uh, 28 is uh, tw 20 is 28. Okay? Add five years to that. She'd be 32. 
A 32-year-old woman is just getting into her adulthood, graduated from medical school, doctor, PhD, etc. And those are the quality women I date. But they are not wanting someone that's 48 that is in business in the midpoint of his career wanting to be wealthy. They're wanting somebody that's going to go to the club. They want to still play the club game. I'm beyond that. Never will do that. So again, a lot of these girls, as Kevin Samuels has shown on TV, on all of his channels, in the calls, on YouTube and Instagram, they want money. They want high value. They want prestige. They don't want to work and build with a guy. At 32, no, no. And definitely not at 22. So even though Kevin Samuels can say all that mess about, well, it gets get married young, no. A 22-year-old kid getting married will be divorced at 32. He is much older than me. So he's 53? Currently, yes. Okay. Why was an 18-year-old man a 53-year-old man? Thank Did you. Did father hook you guys up? No. He's, my father's younger than him. Um, Did you hear what you just said? Gold digger. Did you hear what this, this woman just said? So when you come in and you open up with these arguments and in the question of Kevin Samuel, which is the basic standard psychologist question is she says she was married to one of those guys. She should have been doing the homework while being married to her so-called psychologist. She married a man that was older than her own father. That is a sick girl. That girl was effed up from probably age nine. She's now... Again, I don't know how old she was. She got, she said up to three years ago. And I think he did the math and he subtracted. You got married at 18. At 18. Now, I got to go back and rewind it just a little bit to see how long she was married. How long, and how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Okay. So you're 31? Yes. All right. So she was 31 years old. And then she got married at 18. So that means from 18 to 28. What I just say, when you get when a girl gets married young, she'll be divorced young. Why? Because of the failures of her parents. So this girl is married. At, think about this for a moment. At 18 years old, the guy was 53. Now the guy is almost 60. She's 31 now, okay? So 18 to 31, that is approximately 12-year gap. So if he was 53, you add 10 years, that makes him 63 plus another two. He's 65 now, 65, right at retirement. And if she loved him, she would be with him, right? No, she don't love him. She filed for divorce. She left him, took the child that she had with him now, she did make sure she had a child with a rich man, right? That's older than her father. That kid is upped, okay? And then she says, I think I now at 31 am qualified for a high value man because I've been married for almost nine years. Eight, when 30, 18 to, 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 to 28 is 10 years. I've been married for 10 years. I divorced my first husband and we don't know why yet we haven't even got into the whys here it comes kevin's about to drill down in a second to get the why you're divorced and now you just made a stupid ass statement of i know i'm ready for a high value man girl you are a gold digger you ain't ready for no man you got married at 18 yes were you raised by mom and dad um mom at home and dad not at home so no my mother and father were married. My father lived out of the state working. So, yes and no. How do you live out of uh, state how working? How much older was your husband than you? 35. We'll say 35 years. Okay, Let's say 35. So no, he, he is much older than me. So, he's 53? Currently, yes. Okay. Why was an 18-year-old man a 53-year-old man? Exactly. Hook you guys up? No. No. He's, my father's younger than him. Um, for me, it was a personal choice. I was not raised in a household where I had to love or be with any particular race, religion, or sex. If I'd have brought home- What kind of crap did this woman just say? Her family, her parents were fucked up. She said, I, a black woman, that's a black woman now, I'm telling you, she ain't white. 
I was raised in a home where she says that I, this where, like I said, right there is where the woman's done. When you hear this statement, you're going to hear her say, I was raised in a home where I was not with any, I could be with any person. That means female, male, doesn't religion, sex, race, don't matter. Well, that means you got no standards. You got no standards. You got no standards. There's got to be some standards of religion, race, and as she worded, faith. Well, we already said religion, race. There's got to be some. It's ridiculous. Two palm trees and said that this is what I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. There wouldn't have been any question. Sorry, as parents. Um... And I'm, I'm a pastor. Sorry, that's a damn I'm, shame I'm, that you could bring home two palm trees and we think that's okay, but okay. Yeah, exactly. 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 And I'm glad Kevin said it. It's a, it's a damn shame to lay great Kevin Samuels. He's right. Nobody should ever be able to say, hey, mom, I'm, I'm dating a, a kid that's 20 years my junior and I'm going to marry him, mom. What? Or... I'm dating somebody who's 35 years my senior. Mom, and I'm going to marry him. What? It's just ridiculous. Now, like I said, these are the calls that gave this man's blood pressure a hit. I think caused him to have a cardiac arrest. That's how he died. Because when you're hearing all these stories and these sad stories from these different women that you would never meet in your real life, it opens you up to making you go, damn, bro. You really got to quiz people and you got to ask them lots of questions, like how you were raised. I mean, we're talking in the, in the very first call. I mean, thank God today we got video cams, so we're not going to be dealing with you know, you know, you meet somebody, you you uh, you then fall in sexual slust because you you have sex on the first day, and then all of a sudden you find out all this nasty crap. But it's too late; you've already had sex with her. Was your ex husband black? Yes, he was. All right, fifty three years old. You could pick him. Great. Why y'all divorce? Here My husband come. got sick with cancer, and that changed him, and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. See how evil that is, right there. She going to get cancer. Now, I wasn't expecting that, but she's going to die tragically. And when that comes to her ass, her man going to leave her. Karma is an itch. What you do to somebody, it will be done to you, my brother, sister. The When you make an oath to marry somebody, it is to death do us part. Okay? And I know there's got to be millions of women out there that have been in those relationships where... You get married and you don't think that the person's gonna get cancer and they get cancer. And you gotta be with that person and you don't have no more sex. Okay, I get it. Maybe that's why the girls are being um or forcing their husbands to become um uh, to have adultery. Well, just because that person did have cancer and that person, you know, can't have sex no more, doesn't mean that you have the right to have sex out inside your marriage. Just get divorced, okay? Just get divorced, get judged by God, and go out and have all the sex you want. But just, just remember, when cancer comes to you because of your selfishness, just remember, <laughs> you did it to your husband first. You broke your vow first. See, these vows are serious vows, but it's not just the vow of marriage. It really is the vow of being in every relationship. But what's the difference between being in a relationship today? We don't look at relationships like a vow of marriage. So, and we shouldn't. But this is a vow. First off, you got a 53-year-old marrying an 18-year-old. There's something wrong with that guy, number one. Number two, there's something wrong with that girl. Number three, there's something wrong with the girl's parents. Number four, now if she got that money and she get half of his possessions because he's 65 now. After her giving him 10 years and now at 31, she needs sex and he can't provide. She wants to divorce and she filed for divorce. 
there was nothing that I did not do. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to need to be very specific with the next few questions. Did he have chemo or radiation? He had a form of chemo, which is called BCG. It's an injection. I know. That, I know um, what cancer is. I'm a cancer survivor. Okay. Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And you divorced him because... And who filed for divorce? She did. I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. What does oh, that mean? Oh, Lord. So... Same Mentally, I was degraded. I was made to feel less than. I was talked down to. Oh, emotionally, Lord. as a partner and a spouse, I was emotionally neglected. Now. And financially, funds began to be withheld from me. That would Notice that she had nothing. We don't. She's 18 years old. She has no job. She has no skill. Now she's 31. She probably still has no job, no skills. Everything came out this man's pocket. This man's battling expensive $300,000 million cancer. Cancer costs millions of dollars to overcome. That's why many people die because they don't have the millions of dollars to get the best health care, food, and treatment. It's really fucked up. But the other side of the coin is she was an 18-year-old woman that had no education. She wasn't even a college graduate with a degree. And telling this stuff about financially, mentally, fit, and she didn't say physically, but she said emotionally and financially and mentally abusive crap bs have normally never been Ooh, an issue i know i know kevin i know okay it's amazing how many women who file for divorce seem to be so abused but it does to answer your question no no any man who's a Henry, hearing this would be wise to run. Yes. None of this sounds appealing. None. Gold digger. Gold digger. Do you understand digger. why? That's the reason why I'm calling and asking. Said well, ma'am, you got married at 18 years old. So if you're 30, he should be 65. I'm exactly. 31, so he's 66. Right. Oh, 66 Okay, now. so for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53-year-old. And he exactly. took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Until his, Correct. Yeah, and then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. No, when he yes. was fighting for his life, I became a warrior. Uh-uh. Was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll give you that one. But I'm going to need you to understand what you just said. He was fighting for his life. What Correct. war were you in? For your life? No, for my husband's health. Ma'am, you just said the, you just said you were in your hus you divorced your husband because he became financially abusive, verbally which I, abusive. Wait, Don't sorry, over talk. Can I? Don't over no. The man was going okay, he was he Fighting was being injected life. with poison. He was going through quite a bit. So you know what? He's allowed to go through some was he on prednisone also? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh. Was he on any kind of steroid? No, he refused. <laughs> Oh, but he's still injected in poison. So, ma'am, here's your story. I got married to a man at 53 years old, 18, and this man took perfect care of me. He was older than my father. I, did, do you have to work? Did you have to work when you were married? No, no but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You chose. But you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock Damn it off. Right. He was the he was the money. He was the money. Damn See, right. He actually saved you from yourself. And then when he got sick, you you got. Are you a Christian? No. Did you? Where'd you get married? We got married at a courthouse. Who and, he, and, what, and what vows did you? Sickness and in health. So that she, she threw that out there. Now you heard her throw out the, the vow from the Word of God. She says she's not a Christian, right? But she knew to throw that little vow out. She broke the sickness and the health because as soon as he got sick and got back to health, she divorced him. But you, the general you, vows, you, you, the general vows from the from the Bible. If that's where they get them from, then yeah. Well, the you know where vows. they get them from. You're a married woman, and you sick. said them. And then when he got sick, you you bailed. Sick. No, I did not. I but like I, I like I like saying. what this guy's doing. He put the people's courts. I love that. It's so smart. Put the with that pause. 
Put the people's court in there. People's court. Bruh, whoever does the man cave, salute to you, bro. I, I wish I had time to take all of his videos and do that as well, but I don't care about the sound call. I care about the points. The points that Tragic Magic Woman said at age 31, and she this was done uh, probably two years ago. They just Someone just made a new video of it from his video. But the fact is, that lady is right now with some dumb, 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 stupid, rich, and beta male man, simp man, who don't know how to read women, and is going to pay. And what this video right here shows us as men, and how to read fake women. How to tr always, always pick a woman as education, so she can prove her worth. There was nothing that that woman proved that gave her worth. What, she had a vagina? Every woman's got a vagina. That's not nothing worthy of anything. No, you did. You just don't want to hear it that way. You left. You're sick. No, I did You divorced your cancer, your, your cancer suffering husband. Once he was in remission. After oh, okay, I okay. So after yeah, it, I did. Okay. I, I I would never leave anybody like that because I would hate to be left like that. Right, right. Things not so, a doctor's uh, appointment. So are you I working live. right now? Currently, yes. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I own my own private consultancy business. How did you what, get the what? money to to run that business? Uh, exactly. By working other jobs. Uh -uh. I've been a flight attendant, so I saved my own money. Okay. So so I want to get straight. You mean your 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 ex husband didn't have any money tied? He didn't help you get to start your own business. You didn't yeah, take any money did. from or resources from the marriage. No. When I left the marriage, all I no, wanted no, no, was no, my no. name. No, 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 my no. He said in the daughter. marriage, not when you left. Heard her change? She asked, did your husband tie anything in the marriage of 10 years? She goes, when I left the marriage. Notice, she didn't see notice how she, what she didn't say. You got to listen to what women don't as well as what they do say. It's college account. That's it. Okay. Um, my daughter's yeah. college account. So now she made sure that my daughter, that one I impregnated and got your sperm to create, you're going to take care of her. Gold digger. Bull. She, she lied. I got other people in here. I, I'm going to just tell you right now. No, ma'am. Nope. My spidey sense is a tingling, and I, I'm sitting all kind of lies, deceptions, half totally. truth. <laughs> And I got eighteen years that? old, thirty-one years. Did you hear? Did you hear a little? <laughs> I mean, that's not something to laugh at. It was not. That was a tragedy. If you tell somebody your truth and they say you're lying, you should be offended when they call you a liar. You shouldn't laugh. But she laughed. She go <laughs> sick. And there are more sick callers, bro. That call Kevin. So you, you, I'm gonna be honest, man. This is a whole mess. So even the way you're talking, it just sounds like ugh. you left, you divorced your ex, and what you think you're gonna just gonna pick another one? Why yeah. would anybody want? Why would anybody want to deal? Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. BS. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's yeah, the that's the problem. It. That's the problem. That is the problem right there. She had no understanding of men. That's why she screwed. Her father screwed her. Her mother screwed her. And she screwed herself. I wish her much hell. I hope that she pays. Describe yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring, loving. The way you're talking... I almost sound like a dude. Better go back to your husband. That's all you got. Especially in New York. What, what, what part of New York? Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. No, it's done. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. Goodbye. Good job, Kevin. Great job. The late, great Kevin Samuels, y'all. Wow. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. 5'4", 180, and all that attitude.
And you know what most women will probably say we're hearing this? Oh, you don't know all the story. You don't know what she been through. You don't know how she was raised. You don't know. I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll work, work, it'll manipulate and try to get you on an emotional tip. Going all the way back to that girl's birth. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of that crap doesn't matter when you get to the age of accountability. At age 12 and on, you're accountable for your actions. Yes, there are a lot of things that you can say screwed you up between 0 and 12. But at age 12, at age accountability, you got to start taking responsibility for yourself. Getting married to somebody at, eight, at 18 years old who's 53 years old is, is wrong. Bottom line, it's wrong. Uh, number two, you did it for money. Number three, the guy was stupid as heck because he should not have done that. But for us guys who are 48, I'm 48, I will not. If I'm single at 53 years old, I'm single. And if you don't have your quality as a woman to be with me, I'm going to be traveling around the world and I'll be making love to who I make love to. But the fact of the matter is you ain't getting my name. You ain't getting my values. I'm not going to be divorced at 65. Like the guy said, uh, the, guy, the girl explained, you don't know what could happen. You believe God, you make it 83 years old. But if cancer comes, you got to fight that damn thing. You got to fight that damn thing. And you want someone that's going to be on your side, not someone who's going to leave you once you get in remission. Now, I don't know. I don't know who this guy is right here. Because it says by Kevin Samuels, but I don't know if this is actually the Kevin Samuels. Because I'm like, in my humble opinion, this guy is 